Eagle John. <clears throat> We're going to be doing some uh, some uh, cordage, some natural cordage out of bear grass or palmetto plant or whatever you want to call it. This is something I've never done. I have a friend here that done this before. We're probably taking this top layer off so it doesn't slide around each other. It grips, probably grip each other as you... Is that the purpose of that, actually, just to yep. keep it from sliding around? Yep. Makes sense. That and it makes it last longer. The green has uh, moisture in it. Ah. Uh, that's where the... Makes it dry out quicker. Yeah. Makes sense. That's interesting. And you see the water all over it. Yep, yep. You get that stuff off of there, and it makes it... Makes yeah, it's nice enough to sharpen, that's for damn sure. It's not supposed to... It doesn't need to be sharp. You right. do it with any kind of pocket. Right. right. It's not sharp whatsoever. Hmm. You see the, the the fibers are already starting to separate. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to exert a lot of calories to make it. You just sit here in the shade somewhere. Right. Like we are in the shade right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only sunny spot we, we chose it. You want the real small fibers, nothing like that size? Yeah, you don't want nothing this size. And that way, we, and it all depends on what size of rope. Now, if you want a big rope, mm -hmm. we're just going to make a small rope. If you want a big rope, you could use bigger fibers. If you want something that's, I mean, just for shelter making or whatever you want to make small wise you normally just want a small fiber rope right something to lash something together make a fishing pole make a small diameter a, uh, if you want to make a uh, bow drill or something this is, and this is good strong stuff too but you could probably each you could probably put uh, each piece together and make a string or something couldn't you yeah. just like that exactly if you want to make fishing line mm -hmm. this is all the stuff for it That's enough to get started. All right, so you take that stuff there. You get your tips right here. Put them all together there. And then once you get everything up to the tip, because you don't want to start with who um, out in the center. Mm -hmm. All right, that's enough right there. Make you a little knot right here. Pull that out, and even though there's not just me, you, and here, I just want Hold you to here real quick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just a knot on the end, keep it all together. Here. Hold that right there. You grab that, separate that out, and you just grab the here, twist over, twist over. Twist. Now, oh, the next section to make the it next longer. section, but you want to use the other side. This right here was the thick portion here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on this that was the thick portion that I started with mm -hmm. and then I went going down to the thin portion here and then whenever you flop over you want to use this thin portion mm -hmm. and just start adding pieces in Very your, rope interesting. Will, your rope will pop up a little bit it's like here you can see the thinner section here mm -hmm. and the thick section here so you can take that right there and just put it up on it and you just start adding that in Two turns, uh, two turns to get it in there, and mm -hmm. now it's in there. And then you're going to go just a little bit further, and then you're going to add another one. Same exact thing. That's pretty cool. And that you can make your lo your rope ever mm -hmm. however long you want to make it. You can make it 30 feet, 10 feet, 4 mm -hmm. feet. It makes no difference as long as you got enough of this stuff to do it. That's pretty cool. Add a bigger piece. 
because we added the other piece in the other one. And the good thing is what's about this stuff here is extremely strong. And I'll show you that in just a second. I'm just going to yeah. stop right here. All right. Grab a hold of that just as good as you can grab okay. it. I mean, just hold on to it and pull like crazy. Right. right. Go. Nope. That stuff right My here. And God. Then whenever it dries up, uh -huh. it'll be just as strong. It's not going to. That's lose crazy. The and this, this is the best cordage that you can walk in the woods and find. And when you're, when you're done, pull off your little pieces here, Oops. cut them all. I mean, they're still going to be there. You're still mm -hmm. going to see them. Right. And it's not a fashion show. Anymore. Right. <laughs> Matter of fact, it's not. not it's right, that you can nice even leave them on yeah. there. It makes no difference. It's the cordage is what you're after. Very nice. <clears throat> it lasts about a year before it actually starts to deteriorate completely. Maybe a little longer. Depends on if it ever gets wet. If it gets wet again and stays wet and starts to mold, then it will start deteriorating. That's pretty cool. That's it, and that's bear grass. You can find it anywhere on the top of the top right. of the hills. It grows in the dry spots. Nice. We well, appreciate that. Cool. <laughs> Man, I wish I had one of those. You don't find it. It ain't easy to find. Matter of fact, Sydney found one before I found one. And I had one while I was living in Pensacola before Sydney got one. And somebody stole it right off the front seat of my van. God. That was real nice of them. Yeah, I really appreciate that. <laughs> Somewhere, like a yard sale or something. That's about the only place to find them. I look, that's something I look for. One of those things that other people would say, oh, that's a piece of junk, and you're like, give yeah. it to me. You're like, yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah. Nice. And the thing about uh, what we do with the, the, with the logs, mm -hmm. you got to take the bark off because the, the, the log will rot. If the bark stays right. on it. Right, keeps all that moisture in there and rots from the inside out. Nice.